Hello, hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I want to show you how to unlock these iPhones. These are the iPhone 12, and one is running iOS 17, I believe. Yeah, 17, and the other one is running iOS 16, I believe. Yeah, 16. You can see here that both are SIM lock. Look at this, SIM lock. But just in case, I'm going to try to uh, put a SIM card from another carrier. So you can see what happened when you put a SIM card on a phone that is locked. I'm going to use a SIM card from Mint Mobile. And let me put it here. Let's see what happened, guys. Activation required. Continue, and I'm logged into, a, and I have Wi-Fi connection. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone, and SIM not supported. SIM not supported. Let me try again, just in case. SIM not supported. And we knew this was going to happen because when you go to Settings, General, About, you can see here, Carrier Lock, SIM Lock. Any iPhone that is unlocked is going to say no SIM restrictions. So whenever you see an iPhone that it says SIM lock, that means that it's locked to a company. Okay. So this one with iOS 16 is locked. This one with iOS 17 is also locked. I just wanted to show you that they are both locked. So then people don't say, oh, no, you know, this phone was already unlocked and you just show us nothing. No. That's why I'm showing everything, guys, so you know what happened um, when you put a SIM card on a phone that is locked, on an iPhone that is locked. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone, the same result, SIM not supported. SIM not supported. All right, guys, so let me take the SIM out because if not, we cannot do anything with the iPhone. Okay, let's try to unlock this iPhone 12 first, all right? If I can unlock this, I will not try this one because I will save it for another video. If I cannot unlock this one, I will try with this one. And we also wanna try with both SIM cards. You know that each iPhone has two IMEIs. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, clean the cache. I'm gonna go to Safari and here, clear history and website data. Close tabs, okay. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna copy the IMEI. Settings about, IMEI number, number one, I'm gonna click and hold and I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm gonna open a browser and I'm gonna type AT&T unlock. And look at this, you must have zero balance on your device installment plan to request an unlock, okay? Start an unlock request. Do you have a mobile number with AT&T? No. IMEI, I'm gonna click and paste, okay? And this is a good sign because the portal recognized the phone as the iPhone 12 A2172. Sometimes when you paste the IMEI, the portal immediately is gonna tell you that you cannot unlock the device because you still have payment plans and stuff like that, all right? So every time you see this, that's a good sign. Click on, I read the legal info, and then wait for the next button to turn blue. Oh, right there, okay, now it's blue, you can continue. Oh, and look, this is what I was telling you. We can unlock this device because this device is still under contract. Sign into your account to review your contract. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's the end of this device. Now we're gonna try the other one, the one with iOS 17. Same thing, go to settings, go to Safari, and then go to uh, Safari, yes. Clear history and website data. And you can see that this is new for iOS 17, right? Close all tabs and all history, clear history. Okay, so now we are starting fresh. Okay, now you're gonna type AT&T unlock. Start an unlock request. I forgot to copy the IMEI. So go to settings, general, about, and copy the IMEI. 
Copy the IMEI. Okay, so go here. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? I don't. IMEI number, click and paste. Okay, it recognized the model. Now I'm gonna click here. And I'm gonna click next. Okay, in this case, it's allowing me to put my information. So that's a good sign, guys. On the other one, it blocked me right away. So I'm going to put my information, mobile number, don't put anything, email address. Okay. Submit. Please wait. It's taking a long time, guys. It usually right away. Oh, look at this, guys. The device you want to unlock is active on another AT&T account. The owner needs to remove the device from their account first. Okay, guys. So... I couldn't unlock it, right? That sucks. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to try with the second IMEI. Some people claim that they have success with that. And this is the second IMEI. This second IMEI is the eSIM, okay? Because you know that the iPhones on the US only can have one physical SIM card. The iPhones in China, you can have two physical SIM cards, okay? So click here to copy the IMEI number two. So we're going to clear the cache. Safari. Clear history and website data. All history. Okay. And we're going to open it and we're going to type AT&T unlock. Start a new unlock request. No. The IMEI, I'm going to paste it. And again, this is the second IMEI, the ISIM. Okay, next. And I'm going to put my name. Email address. Submit. Again, it's taking a long time. And the same result, guys. The device you want to unlock is active on another AT&T account. The account owner needs to remove the device from their account first. For assistance, call 800-331-0500. All right, guys. So let's talk about this, right? When I try to call this number, you cannot move forward if you don't have an account with AT&T. To be honest, you cannot do anything. If you don't have an account with AT&T, you cannot even pay the installment plan. Let's say you bought this iPhone from another guy that didn't pay his bills, right? And then you try to pay their bills. You cannot because you need access to his account. You need access to the original account that this iPhone was purchased with. And then you can do some payments or whatever, right? A lot of people also tell me, hey, they want to charge me $49. And uh, I've been unlocking AT&T phones for a long time and they never asked me for a penny. So chances are, the website that you're accessing is not the original AT&T website, right? Also, some people tell me that they cannot access this unlock portal. If you cannot access the unlock portal, that means that you are probably in another country. I will suggest you to install a free VPN like Proton VPN, and then select your country as the US and then access the website again. I'm gonna put a link in the description, so you just have to click there and they will show you this website. Some people say, I got denied, what should I do? You can wait, guys. You can wait because, you know, it happens to me with an XR, I remember, that it was locked. And after a year or something like that, you know, I tried it again and I got it unlocked. So in my experience, AT&T is not like TrackPhone. On TrackPhone devices, if you never use it, you can never unlock it. Looks like on AT&T, whenever the time passed, maybe one or two years, then they will release it, you know. Each experience is different, you know. I tried to unlock two iPhones 12 without any success. So I'm doing this video, guys, just to show you that you will not always be successful when you try to unlock your AT&T device. You know, sometimes you cannot do it. What I will do is I will wait another month. I will try it again. And also, guys, if you cannot unlock this iPhone from AT&T, you can still use it with another company using the AT&T Towers. In this case, Cricket is a perfect candidate. You can use these devices with Cricket no problem at all, all right? H2O, any company using the AT&T network, 
you will be able to use this device okay so that's it guys please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and uh sorry i couldn't unlock these devices but i just wanted to show you that i'm not always successful you know but please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and i'll see you on my next video take care guys bye